what's up guys this is going to be a guide of missile silo i'm going to be walking you through everything you need to know on this map so we're going to get started right now so we are on the fourth floor usually some gu guns will spawn on the beds or right here but lately i have not been seeing them spawn on here so the most places that you want to check here is always on this cabinet here always in this cabinet here uh there's always going to be a gun there sometimes uh, you have three three uh, lockers in here. Sometimes guns spawn here. You have one right here. There goes a SKS. And then up here. So this is a really good spot for a naked runner to start on. But there's three lockers and a gun, a possible gun spawn on top of that cabinet here. All right, this is the fourth floor again. But now we're gonna go to the third floor. This is the prime section. You'll see everybody going. All right. After open. All right. So everybody is going to hear you open this. So you want to be very careful. If they hear that, someone's either waiting in that corner right there, or on their way over here. So be ready. Like always, be ready to fight somebody when you come up here. Usually, I always will shut this so I can just focus on this spot because if someone touches that I know someone's there so always close that behind you and then always hold this position for a little bit before you go check but hey there's a box right here there's a locker here I usually find like vectors and stuff here all the time um, over here you have this box here usually modules and stuff like that uh, first heel box here and then another locker right here and then sometimes possibility a gun spawning on top of that uh, barrel there now this is where everybody's rushing for there's gonna be a skull card Yorick this one helps you uh, you can either sell it for 20k or use it to go to make him yes oh there's his name right there and it unlocks the house of Scott there's a bunch of loot there so you could use it for that also or sell it for 20k uh, gun spawns here there is a extraction back here but it's very rare uh, it's very rare to get this uh, extraction site but usually some people will take the skull and run back here I know I'd be doing it sometimes but yeah there's an extraction right here all right so now we're gonna go this way a player is always gonna spawn in this room here I'm gonna show you here in a second make sure nobody's following all right so coming down this way there is a crate right here usually attachments and stuff like that uh, there is a um, purple key card spawn I'm actually going to show y'all after this room here once you get in here there's a heel here and you look on this side usually food and such things spawn on this cabinet here uh, night vision helmets and stuff like that there and you come in here another heel spot uh, bro this is the most random spot like you can get almost anything right here uh, from the wiki I found a graphics card on top of this so make sure you guys come in here and check this most of the time uh, you have vipers um, hot sauce that comes spawns right here you have tweak cheese look got some tweak cheese here it used to be a purple key card spawn right there but not anymore I'm sad they got rid of like they keep just downgrading silo bro it actually hurts me dude um, but yeah, these cabinets here, always open these up for a pistol or attachments. Uh, these here, these have a chance of spawning a key card also. More ammo, especially for you hardcore players if you need stuff like that. Open these up. Like I said, sometimes you can find a key card and stuff like that. A uh, gun. So this is a really good spot to spawn. There is a player spawn in here, and there's always going to be one in here. There's no there's no way no one spawns in here, bro. Someone always spawns in that room, regardless. So you want to be ready to wipe out that team that's in there. All right, now key card. Show you everything in the key card spawn here. Oop. 
So you need a purple key card to get in this room. It has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crates. Uh, this one's always going to have armor. You're going to have your gun spawn here with attachments, the guns with key cards. Uh, guns, attachments. I don't know why they put a fishing rod in there, but that's annoying. Uh, attachments, and then the last gun crate here. Damn, this is nice. I might run this while we're playing. All right, so yeah. And then also you have a healing spot right here. That's funny, I never see those. Those are pretty rare now. All right, so that is the purple key card. It is a good one. But I recommend to use it on uh, either this map if you want to make it quick or uh, Mecha Mies since there's like more loot there. Alright, we're going to make a wrap around here. I suck with iron sights. Alright, so you have this down here. Uh, I'll show y'all once we get to the, f the first floor, but there's a crate down there and a, a ladder right there. Once you get to the top here. Alright, I'm back to using my gun, dude. Uh, Alright, so there's always going to be a scav in here. You either break his neck. You're going to have a locker here. Ammo crate here. Uh, there is a player spawn in this room here. They used to have a crate there, not anymore. Uh, this room kind of sucks now, dude. Uh, like I said, they they really shit it on um, missile silo. But uh, attachments, such things in these boxes here, it doesn't hurt to go check because you could get you a sight or anything you need for your gun. All right, we're gonna go over here. Missile Silo did get a nice change though. Uh, so there's always going to be one AI here. Be careful, sometimes Kurtik's uh, minions can walk in here and it's a very scary sight. Uh, there is a player spawn here. There's a player spawn right here and then you can open this here to get yourself a gun. But once you spawn here, you want to be careful of the left side. Like I said, a scav or a player could be walking this way right now. Also, you want to be careful from these uh, the ladder here too. Some players from the first floor can climb up here. So you want to be careful. There's an extraction right here. Weapons crate here. There's always a scav over here walking too. So you want to be careful of that also. You have a heal right here. Ugh. All right, missile silo. I'm going here. So this is. Give me a sec. All right. So this, you gotta jump this to get across. But this is the prime loot spot. Also, uh, it sucks now. They they nerfed the hell out of this a couple wipes, man. Um, but uh, usually a backpack will spawn right here if you don't have one. Uh, helmets, MVGs, stuff like that will spawn near ammo. I have not seen a graphics card spawn here anymore after a couple updates, but it's a good spot to loot after you're done wiping the lobby. I recommend to wipe the lobby first before you do anything else. All right, let's see if I can make this jump without falling. Okay, there we go. All right, I got to show you one more spot on this. Uh, third floor here the third floor is like the prime area the prime loot area for real uh be careful over here in these dark corners people like to hide and camp here uh this is probably one of my favorite boxes to open just due to finding i've been finding a lot of key cards in that box there so definitely check that out weapons crate here got a hill box here coming this way the boss does spawn in here so be very careful, but this is a really good loot spot. You get guns, attachments here. Sometimes I end up finding an AK Alpha in there. Uh, weapons crate here. Not weapons crate, uh, ammo. Not ammo, God. 
a armor crate that thing i have never seen anything really good come out of that crate man uh weapons crate here attachments here grenades if y'all didn't know there is a easter egg in this corner here this is like if y'all played escape from turkoff this comes from a character from um a uh, factory on escape from turkoff so if y'all didn't know anything about that there is a extraction site right here oh it's open it's usually not open it depends on what floor you spawn on but it, it, it can be an extraction for you I did want to show y'all the upstairs might as well show y'all real quick forgot to mention there is a extraction up there might as well show y'all Sometimes people like to do this right here. Oh my god. There goes my ankles, bro. Damn, there's a hole right there. Yeah, don't don't be me and fall through that hole. But sometimes players like to uh this camp up here, so be very careful. All right. So, like I said, there is a extraction up here. I would say this is your fa like safe bet to do. Because sometimes I'm actually waiting for people to uh, jump down from elevator. So it's kind of like, go ahead, be stupid, and jump down the elevator for real. Because uh, I heard you, somebody come from here. I'm usually downstairs waiting. I won't come to you. You'll come to me. But like I said, let me show you the second floor now. Second floor here. <clears throat> You got a scav that's always spawns right here. He's not there. Oh, he's right. What? Damn, my boy be eating. Jesus. All right. Be careful of this corner. Some people like to camp here. Uh, there's a crate right here. There's always going to be one scav here. Yo, that's actually different. I feel like 95% there is always a crypto wallet that spawns right on top of there. So do not forget that. That's actually the first time I've seen that not spawn. Uh, armor crate there. Extraction site here. Depending on what floor you spawned. Weapons crate right there. be very careful of this spot here I'm pretty good at like manipulating areas it's a good spot to be especially when someone's coming you could jump across kill them do some crazy things got a weapons crate there there's always an AI right here also so be very careful I think I killed him earlier I just started on the top floor to make it easy there is a ammo crate right there I have never seen any fights over here, to be honest. I think fights would be crazy over here. Uh, there is a player spawn right there. There's going to be one AI down here. He's either he's running around most of the time. There he goes. All right. So this is called the Joker room. Basically, the server room, basically. Got a heal there. Joker uh, picture there. Attachments, guns, same here, attachments, guns. You come over here. There's two weapons crates here. You either get a weapon or a good gun. I have found AK alphas at some point there too. All right, so I advise instead of taking those stairways that I showed y'all, Sometimes take these, especially if you got people that's on the stairway or just that one elevator will stop you from getting to where you want to be. So I recommend to uh, take those sometimes, like play around, like really play around with the, uh, the way you can play this game. All right. So you got you a crate here. This is a player spawn also. 
you can climb this. There's that crate I was telling you about, and the stairs will take you all the way to the third floor. Come this way. There's usually two scavs uh, running around down here. If there's no scavs, the boss may be here. But I can hear movement. Okay, uh, there was three down here because actually one spawns, let me turn this on for you guys. Oh, that's crazy. There's three scavs down here, but there's usually a scav standing right there where you can actually crack his neck because his back is turned. There's a player spawn in that back room there, like I said. If I spawn there, I'm usually taking the stairs all the way to the third floor to get Skull. Or I'm taking this uh, ladder here just to get rid of uh, other players really quick. Alright, now uh, go this way. Like I said, two scavs spawn here. Usually if they're not here, that means boss is here. So in this back room here. Okay, no boss. Uh, usually boss and his uh, his gang is usually in here, so be very careful. There's two boxes here in Wata. Uh, sometimes you can get really good stuff off that uh, crate there, man. It really depends on what you get. But other than that, guys, that is pretty much it. Silos are pretty simple map. What I usually do on this map is key. If I'm playing this map, it's due to just player kills and Felix kills. I recommend to stay in the game all the way to five minutes. You can kill up to 15 scavs, bro. You can be getting your task done every, basically every, uh, every time you queue into this. So look, man, this is how I level up really fast. Silos, like, what I love about silos is just the fact that I can level up really fast and get what I need done but you do have to fight other uh, other players man there's six players if you can dominate the lobby the lobby's yours man and two some people just leave so early because they need a gun but other than that guys I appreciate a like if you can stab that like button stab that subscribe button I appreciate it a lot but other than that I'll catch you guys next time peace